guys, today we are making ham, egg, and cheese casserole in the slow cooker. Oh, we'll have a whole lot of fun. Mm -mm -mm. It smells really, really good. Mm -hmm. My kitchen. I am Chris from RecipesAtCrock.com. And I am adorable. <laughs> I'm Mikey from RecipesAtCrock.com and today we are going to give you a wonderful breakfast. Could be lunch, could be dinner. Who knows? It's however you want to eat it. All I know is it's going to help you to utilize your leftovers. Yes, or whatever you can find in the grocery store right now. One of the things that we are finding a lot of is ham. Ham. So ham's uh, something that people traditionally eat for Easter, and if you guys aren't getting together with lots and lots of people because of what all is going on right now, you may have a little bit of leftover ham. So we're going to. That's be not a problem. No, not, not in this house. Not in this house. We may we love to make all kinds of things with it, and on Thursday we're going to share with you all kinds of uh, recipes to make with ham so that you can utilize it. Because when you buy a ham, that's Kind of expensive but mm -hmm. there's usually a lot of meat there that you can then divide among many recipes so like today's recipe like today's yes so what is it we are going to make a ham egg and cheese casserole this would be great for easter morning if you wanted it to because it takes about an hour at least in our ninja for us to get it to bake up for us. Or Monday morning, um, or Tuesday yes. morning, or whenever morning. We we love this casserole. We love casseroles like this. We eat them often. So the first thing we're gonna do is, if you don't have a Ninja where you can melt it inside your unit, go ahead and melt your butter and pour it in. But we're gonna put, uh, is this two tablespoons? That is one tablespoon or of one butter. Tablespoon. One tablespoon. One tablespoon of butter in our Ninja just to help uh, and we want it melted before we add the rest of the ingredients. So we're going to let that melt while and while Chris is letting that check. melt. I've got 10 eggs in a bowl. That is 10 eggs. That is a lot of eggs. That is okay because that's going to make for one heck of a casserole. And I'm going to take these 10 eggs and I just want to beat them up. And while I am whisking up the eggs, Chris is going to put in one cup of heavy cream. That's going to give you that fluffiness of a good casserole. Mm -hmm. And now... You want we, salt and pepper? We're going to put the salt and pepper in now. I would now. And remember y'all, don't over salt, don't over pepper. You can put a little in and then let everybody just put in as much salt and pepper at the end as they want. And your hand's going to have some salt in it too. Yeah, yeah. So be very careful. Here, you want to take care of that? And then once we've got these eggs all whisked up, how many did you do? I don't know. I'm supposed to do 13. I know, I don't do it the way you do. Uh, are we adding the cheese now? Yep, all I want to do is I'm going to get rid of my whisk. I'm done with it because I don't want the cheese to clump up in my whisk. And we're going to take eight ounces of shredded cheese, your favorite cheese. One of ours is cheddar. I uh, also you, really like mozzarella. Yeah, mozzarella it would make it um, even creamier and kind of stringier and dense that way. But um, I, I won this battle and I got to do cheddar, mainly well, because I grabbed that block out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> the cheddar also goes really, really well with ham. So mm -hmm. when you think of ham and cheese, you typically... You think of cheddar you think or of you cheddar. could also do an American cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, Velveeta would probably work well on this. Mm -hmm. It would make it really creamy. Uh, yeah, I think... Would it make it too... You think it would make it too mm -hmm. wet creamy? Yeah, I'm not sure. We that haven't tried it with that. Um, but, I mean... Hey, you, if whatever you have on hand. Exactly. And so now we have two cups of diced ham. He's diced it into um, diced dices. Here, they're they're this size. I'll show you. Look. Compare it to my nose. <laughs> it's that size. So this is also gonna go in. Nope. Nope. We're gonna do, do it at the not end. do that. Okay. And here's why. The butter is all around the bottom yep. of your slow cooker. That's really good ham. And now I'm going to take my mixture here of egg and cream and cheese and put in the bottom of the slow cooker. And we've got this slow cooker set on high. And now what you want to do is you want to sprinkle your cheese like a magic ham fairy. And the reason you want to do that and not stir it in there is because when you pour it in, It'll it could just clump in one side. And you don't want to have a casserole that's one side heavy ham and one side that's no ham. So, Unless that's what your family likes, but you do that this way too. Yeah, do it that way. Now, Chris, or all as we know her now is the magic ham fairy, is going <laughs> to sprinkle that two cups of ham in there. And here again, 
If you want to make it three cups of ham, four cups of ham, one cup of ham, it's whatever you want to do. Do we want to tell them what happened? Well, what happened was <laughs> we had a big ham that we were doing for different recipes. And I said, hey, babe, how many cups of ham do you want in this? And she says, I'd like to have two cups of diced ham in it. And so I grabbed two hunks of ham that looked about to be two cups. Turns out it was exactly four cups, but that's the way that I planned it because we're also going to make ourselves some breakfast burritos later. And if you believe that full story, I've got a little ocean side <laughs> in Arizona for you. He, he argued with me that he I, had done two cups, and I said, When I eyeball like measurements, and this is like when we would do like, uh, like if you do olive oil, and they say, Oh, put two tablespoons of olive oil, olive oil in the pan. I would put about a half a gallon in there. I'm not too good at the whole measurement thing, but we've got some ham left over that we're going to do for recipes later. For now, I'm going to go wash my hands like Chris is doing right now. We're going to run this on high for one hour, and then we're going to come back and check it out. Depending on yours, it might take one to two. Some really, really um, uh, cooler cooking ones might take up to three, but ours almost always in our Ninja is consistently right at an hour. So we'll see you back here. You got your hand. Oh. No, don't you dare. He was going to fling that water on me, y'all. We'll see you back here in three, two, one. And we are back. And it is done. As you can see, when you try to shake it. Ain't no jiggle in that, Jello. Nope. So now we're going, I'm going to cut it into eight pieces. I'm gonna eat better tell him. And this is not metal. <laughs> I gotta I gotta make do with what I have guys and I need uh, easy lines. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is cut very gently. The other thing in is half. this is our old insert, so we're not gonna feel too bad about it. No. And we're gonna cut our portions we're just cutting into eight portions it's kind of creamy which is fine I that, think it's partially the cheese too yeah it, oh it totally is the cheese and the cream and that's part of what makes it so yummy mm -mm -mm. it smells really really good mm -hmm. and so now breakfast or dinner or lunch or how the casserole is served now, yes now you can't see it but I'm gonna come over and show you all right check this out y'all you got plenty of cheese all mixed in through there and then you got all the ham remember because old ham fairy over there sprinkled it just right and it's just it's really really fluffy it's going to be creamy with that cheese so don't expect like a real dense uh casserole you know it's not a quiche if you want to you could garnish this by putting some green onion on top of it mm -hmm. or maybe or another favorite cheese you if you wanted to you could Run your fork through it to crumble it up just a little bit and throw it into a tortilla and you'd have an instant breakfast burrito. Oh man. So creamy and yummy. That is so good. Yes. Perfect for lunch right now. <laughs> Y'all, that is so easy to make. Mm. It helps to utilize your leftovers so that you're not having anything go to waste. And the cheddar was a good choice for the ham. S say it again for the people in the back. I was right. Ham and cheddar go together so very well. Go together? Get it? It's my little poem. Oh, is that what that was? I'm a poet. Did you not know it? <laughs> if you guys like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a member of the Crock Posse, we'd love for you to click subscribe and become a member of our slow cooking family around here. If you would like notified every time we upload a video, what do they do? You don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> when you click the ding -a -ling. <laughs> That's the notification bell down below, and that will tell YouTube that you want notified every time we upload a video. But whatever you do, you laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the